G'day buddies, hope you're well. Uh, it's been a big weekend here. Me and Mandy went to the Queenscliff Music Festival yesterday, so we had a pretty late night last night watching live music. It was, it was, it was a cool, we had a good day yesterday. And uh, I'm getting ready for bed, but I just wanted to share a, a thought with you. A lot of people talk about uh, empty calories, like that's a, it's a big thing, empty calories, don't eat empty calories. And, uh, and I just wanted to expand on that idea. So normally when people are talking about empty calories, we're talking about things like sugars, which are, uh, you know, they're, they're high calories and not much. Let's talk about, okay, what is an empty calorie? So an em for me, empty calories means uh, when you're taking in calories that are high in energy, or calories, you're taking in calories, but without uh, nutritional benefit from uh, phytonutrients, micronutrients, antioxidants, fiber, things like that. So if you're eating foods that give you energy, but they don't give you vitamins and minerals, and antioxidants and fiber, or at least, if, or if they give you small amounts of those things, but you know you could be eating things that are higher in those things, then that's empty calories. So that's when people talk about empty calories, they're usually talking about things like sugar. We're talking about white refined flour, and they tend to be the main things that people talk about with empty calories. I want to add oils to it. Lots of people still talk about oils as empty calories because they are just fat, basically. They're, well, not just, they are. They're 100% fat with just trace amounts of, uh, of vitamins and minerals. And the other big one that really doesn't get talked about as empty calories is protein. I'm thinking mostly in the form of powders, protein powders. A lot of people, a lot, there are, there's an entire industry built on protein supplements. They're empty calories, guys. There are three sources of calories. We've got carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Actually, alcohol too. Alcohol is a source of calories. So you've got four. And if you are eating forms of those things, isolated forms of those things, then you're eating empty calories, as far as I'm concerned. Isolated proteins, are as bad as anything else as far as for empty calories as far as I'm concerned if you eat an isolated protein powder supplement then you're eating something that's providing calories and it's not providing fiber it's not providing vitamins it's not providing nutrients it's not providing antioxidants it's just providing protein which is a source of calories and it's empty calories if you're eating oils even if it's extra virgin olive oil or coconut oil the new God of the king of oils, then you are eating empty calories. It's 100% fat. And it's very, very, very small amounts of vitamins and minerals. And of course, if you're eating refined flours and sugars, then it's the same deal. So, they're my thoughts. Uh, don't eat empty calories, guys. Avoid empty calories. And, uh, and you'll do well. Eat foods, whole plant foods. Nothing refined, nothing processed. Just eat whole plants, especially potatoes. <laughs> and, uh, and you'll get everything you need and you won't be eating empty calories and you won't be eating unnecessary, unhelpful calories. That's it. Protein powders are, are empty calories too, folks. All right, if you're still watching this far, then maybe you'll be interested to come to my breakfast on New Year's Day and, and share my very first non-potato meal in a year with me. Uh, check the links below to book. And, uh, and also, I haven't shaved in a few days, but I've got this mo going and I'll shave my beard and, and, uh, and it'll be back to being a mo. But raising money for Movember, check the links below and donate if you like. Spud up, everyone. Don't eat empty calories, including proteins and fats. Spot up!